Happy holidays, everyone, with Ray Ferraro down near the ice. Eddie Olchek getting some ice cream, but he's back. Alongside me, I'm Mike Emery. It's Christmas time. The player's about to get a brief vacation, but not before one last game. Eddie, your thoughts? I've been looking forward to this one for a while, Doc. Both of these teams have the ability to put the puck in the back of the net. Goaltending, as we know, could be the difference here. Before these athletes take time with their families for the holidays and for presents and no lumps of coal, they battle for a puck, and it's underway. The Canadians almost predictably won again in their last outing, and they keep the enormous streak intact. The last game before the Christmas break. For observations on this contest, I side, here's Ray. Hey, Doc, it's not very often that a team can win without special teams that at least play even. Wow, what a glove save! Great take, dangerous area. And he shoots. Just threw it into his pad there. Moving it now up the wing. Shot, great save, point blank. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. He's pinned, soccered along by Felino. A shot, that's what those pads are for. Gets in and he'll look over his options. Fires, solid glove save. He covers and a face-off will follow. The Blue Jackets need to acknowledge their goaltender after one of the better saves you will ever see. Somebody get this guy a pasta visual. A little under four minutes gone. Still knotted at zeros. The draw, the tie-up, and his team prevails. Montreal's in control through the neutral zone. Skilled play by Pocanitz. Shot on. And the puck is grabbed. He's alone! Skilled play by Petrie. Hanging on to it in their own end. Gets in, looks over his options here. The Blue Jackets continue on in their own end. Directing that one to Jenner. Pointed to Petrie. Scorches one. Score! He got the post with that one. Petrie's ability to be able to shoot the puck that hard and put it where he wants is amazing. And so sometimes you just get beat. And this is a clean shot that beats him off the post and in. The Canadians' lead is now one. Lots of time remaining in this first period and in the rest of the game, of course, to try to build on. Moving it to King. Let's it go. That's turned aside. Ooh, it lay there, but he got the whistle and stoppage of play. I don't know if he's going to make a save much easier than that one. He's in good position. It's a rather routine stop. The Canadians win it. Got his glove on that one. Score! Happy holidays to you! Barkov's in a high slot and he rips home a slapper. Now this stinks for the goaltender, Edzo. He stops about 85% of this puck. That's not enough, it just trickles past him. Just a tad under eight minutes play. Just recently another goal, and so the lead is two. They win the draw and will now set up an attack. Let's it go! The shot is off! Snapping a pass to Gagne. Pitching it to Hartnell. And the linesmen were watching very carefully. That is an offside. Play has stopped, and so we have a chance to hear from Ray Ferrar. Columbus has come out of the gate and been pretty consistent for the first part of the season. They have to be pleased with the way that their team is played. It doesn't seem to matter where they need a contribution from. They're going to get it. Okay, Ray, keep listening down there. The Canadians lug the puck in their own end. Now it's directed to Ben. The stick broke on the shot. Full tender pass. Brought ahead. 
onside. Good quick stick. A penalty coming up, but it's a delayed call. Play is stopped, and now we'll hear the call. The Canadians will get a two-minute penalty for elbowing. More times than not, Doc, when you lead with your elbow, you're going to get a penalty. The Blue Jackets go on the power play for the first time. One of the best power plays in the league gets an opportunity at a huge time being down. Eddie, I'm with you on that. Nothing much at stake, just our reputations. And it's nabbed by Johnson. Pass attempt to Atkinson. And on the icing, play is stopped, and all the way back it will come for a faceoff. Big face-off win. Fires! Score! Lights flashing, sleigh bells ringing, and we are listening to a crowd. He shot that puck so hard, I only saw it when it finally came back out of the net. Well, the goalie can only shake his head. He feels he should stop every shot on the glove side. He doesn't get to this one. Just a tad under eight minutes left to go. Do you see a pattern developing here? They're up now by three. The Canadians control from the neutral zone. Ended by number six, Shane Weber, assisted by number 14, Thomas Pickens. Goes to the backhand. Wonderful save. Pitching this one to Savard. Solid defensive play to break up the rush. Looking to Placanitz. Gains the zone. In all alone. Score. Santa Claus brought a hockey stick. Placanis, quick read of the play. Allowed him to get that breakaway and score. It looks to me sometimes as the goaltender's guessing a bit, and when he guesses, he drops into the default butterfly position to see if he can cover enough net. Montreal's got another face-off win. The Canadians are back even. Full strength action, the penalty kill. The Blue Jackets have it in center ice. Chip to Foligno. In their own end, pushing it on. Gets across, looks over his options. And it's driven away again. He knocked it in himself! It's in the net, it counts! There's the old adage, get it to the net. You never know what can happen. This goes off the goaltender and in. Goalie to the bench, substitution made. The Blue Jackets are trying to change momentum here. Their starter had just a rotten night in goal. They'll get the backup in there. Just under five minutes remaining. Do you think the ice is tilted in this one? Players are tumbling head over heels into the boards. And they've won the neutral zone faceoff. You win that, and you don't have to chase. They chase you. Mashed in. And the puck taken over by Petrie. To Galchenyuk. He gains the zone. Superb save by Bobrovsky. Everyone knows that, Doc, that was a tremendous save, and even the shooter realizes how good that was. The Canadians move to center ice. Fires. Ooh, saved by the wire of the mask. The Blue Jackets are moving the puck in their own end. Passing one off now to Jenner. Shot back to the other end, and that means icing. Placanitz has had an outstanding season. Every time it seems he gets a chance to score, he's able to finish it. And that's all with being the focus of the other team. Around the 20th minute of this period, Columbus with possession at center ice. In the first period. A shot, and it's driven away. Puck is thrown to King. 
and he steps across the line. He scores! Not a creature was stirring, at least not in goal. Kane's big-time slap shot goes in from the high slot. Bobrovsky's not going to be able to stop this perfect shot up into the top of the net. If he's going to be able to do it, he's going to have to be more aggressive, get out farther in the net. Just a little bit too much room up top. Tied up, but a good reach and a good step in there for possession. He's got it frozen. Not easy. Number 35. Routine stop for the goaltender. The shooter's going to have to do a much better job challenging him. Montreal's got another win. That one blocked. Puck covered, whistle blown. Placanitz's play defensively has grown in leaps and bounds. As a result, he has among the highest plus-minus totals in the league. Let's it go. A wonderful save, and that just beat the clock, too. First period has come to a close. There was offense, but only on one side. A look at the shots on goal. They're pretty overwhelming. An overwhelming 19 for Montreal and four for Columbus. If you are the holder of the winning ticket, please take it to our customer service kiosk in section 144. First period has been played, second period about to start. A look ahead. Columbus has to be happy with the score, but one thing they're not happy with is the way they managed the puck in that first period. Way too many turnovers, way too many gifts given to the opponent. The Canadians lug the puck in the defensive zone to Pacioretty. Propelled to Dubinsky. And the puck goes to Alex Galchenyuk, former player for the Sarnia Sting. It's an onside play. Gloved! There is some room. Not in force. I wonder if that hit will change the momentum of this game. Toward the net. Hung right over him and couldn't get it past. Seems like he was in too tight on the goaltender. Pass cut. And he'll hold on. The Canadians want to be an aggressive team, and this player has among the highest hit totals in the league. Sometimes I wonder if he even looks at the puck. Columbus gets it. He had the goalie beat and hit the iron. Terrific interception. On to Markov. Directing that one to Shaw. On the outside, a shot. Saved off the mask. I don't know if he's going to make a save much easier than that one. He's in good position. It's a rather routine stop. Good job tying the man up on the faceoff. Teammate comes in. To Atkinson. Smart recovery by Petrie. Moving it to Shaw. The Canadians look to make a difference up the wing. Rister, outstanding glove save. The Blue Jackets are out of their own end. Dumped in. Possession now on the pickup by Markov. The Canadians in their own end controlling the play. Gains the blue line. What a ripper! He throws it there. Got the pad on that one. Snapping a pass to Jones. One-timer, lightning in that glove. Pushing it on in their own end. And he iced the puck. Montoya is able to make an excellent stop here. That's a difficult scoring chance. The shooter thought he had a beat. To 
Dubinsky's team is losing, and he is losing draws. The Canadians continue to probe up the wing. Hammer, save. Taken toward the neutral zone, pitching it to Saad. Into the end of attack. Takes a shot. That's a great save. I was watching for sticks to go up. No celebration this time. Boom, heavy collision there. He got plastered on the boards there. That's a stop sign right there. And a save there. Pass attempt to Dubinsky. And up the wing, he'll keep possession. Columbus moves the puck through center ice. Keeps it going through center. Just a backhand. Not through. It is a hooking call on this play. A restraining foul, and the arm of the referee is up. Montoya's at the bench. Delayed penalty continues. The Blue Jackets are given a hooking minor. Uh, more times than not, Doc, anytime you reach in around a player's hands that has the puck, you're going to get a hooking minor. There's always a start to your power play night, and this is number one. Possession established. Good reach there. That hits somebody. He blocks it down and keeps it alive. A shot. Oh, and what a spectacular save. Got to clear it. Tries to clear. And that one cleared by the penalty killers. Gathered up again by Markov. The Canadians, through the neutral zone, glide along. Shoot. Just missed the net. He got his glove on that one. Back near the blue line to Markov. And a good save in the goal crease. The Blue Jackets can't get out of this game quick enough. Their goaltender has been terrible. They trail big as they haven't given up many shots, but they haven't got a save. He's able to make the glove stop here on a relatively easy scoring chance. The Canadians win the draw. Save! Columbus is all done with the penalty kill. We're back even. Good quick poke check there. Just wide of the net. The Blue Jackets up the wing, lug the puck. Good hand to eye, and the reach of the stick. And drives on through center. Slid to Galchenyuk. Columbus is headed to center. And now it's directed to Atkinson. Tripped up on the play, and there will be a penalty. Penalty call coming. Watch for his signal here. The Canadians get a two-minute penalty for tripping. Now, this is a tough call. He was trying to play the puck, but he tripped up the attacking player. Face-off win and a shot. Two periods have been played. They've worked pretty hard at it, and they get a well-deserved rest. Third period coming up shortly. We turn now to the shots on goal at the end of two. 30 for the Canadians and seven for the Blue Jackets. Hey, fans, don't forget to enter tonight for our team signed poster, which we'll give away before the end of tonight's game. Third period about to begin. What did you think of the second? Montreal's up, Doc, here with a pretty solid lead, but they know that their opponent's going to come after them. So let's see how they play it. Will they be defensive first or look to add to the lead that they have? The Blue Jackets' special teams are pretty good. Let's see how their power play does here as it continues into this period. Columbus moving well as they go through the neutral zone. Terrific determination by Yemelin. Pitching this one to Deneau. Gains the zone and looks over his options. And a good save there. Looking to Venberg. Great take, dangerous area. And a good job in the goal crease.
Well, the shooter's pretty disappointed, guys. He delivered that puck quickly. It was accurate, yet the goaltender was just better than him on the wrist shot. Montreal's prevailed on another faceoff. Laid on to Johnson. Passing one off now to Jones. Puck is thrown to Johnson. The Canadians with a big penalty kill. We're back at full strength. Waits from the corner. Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. And he clears it. Case closed. The Blue Jackets through the neutral zone continue with possession. And offside is called on the play. Pretty routine stop. You can see why everybody learns the butterfly when they're a young kid. Takes away the bottom of the net. And they've won the faceoff. Slides it to the point to Placanitz. The Blue Jackets lug that along in their own end. Trying to go to Johnson. Superb defensive play by Placanitz. Oh, bad giveaway there. The Canadians have a healthy lead in this game because of their turnovers. That's icing. They shot it from the defensive side of the center red line over the opposition end line, and it's a stall. Got possession. A great wrist shot. Oh, what a save. He brought his best shot, and it got stopped. Fires a shot. And the puck gathered in by Johnson. Directing that one to Dubinsky. Let's it go. And that one turned aside. The puck is free, now taken up by Felino. To Shaw. Big drive. Grab. Now that's a quick glove. And they are in. Keeps it going behind the goalie. Pointed to Savard. That hit somebody. Hammers one. Missed another. You have chances like that. You really feel like you let your teammates down. Pitch to Hartnell. Up the half wall. Oh, how can they miss that pass? The Canadians wheel one ahead up the wing. Let's it go. And another strong save. Puck now possessed by Scott Hartnell. Up the wing still with possession and with hope. Let's it go. Outstanding save. What magic even to get there and get the shot off. A quick developing play right in front. Almost looks like he's too close to the goaltender. Gathered up by Brendan Gallagher. Let's it go. Chip to Murray. Moving it to Calvert. Montreal's in their own end and shifting gears. Nicely into the zone. Shoots. Got in the way of that one, too. A whistle and a rest. He's in great shape to make any kind of stop, but one like this is an easy one for him. Grabbed, the two centermen tied up, but there was a good reach there. Terrific open ice hit. The defense can rest. Just when he thought he had some open ice, he ran into a stop sign. That's got to hurt. Blocked away. Propelled to Jones. The Canadians hopefully shifting from defense to offense in their own end. Moving it now in the defensive zone. On to Atkinson. Hope checked away by Shea Weber. Gathered in by Yemelin. Carried out of his own end toward center. Okay, so he's got it on his stick. What'll he do next? Strong shooter against a strong goaltender, and the guy with a trapper won. A game can change on a great stop like that. Excellent stop. Good job on that faceoff, tying the man up. Pressing on with it up the wing. Taken on by King. A 
long hit. The glove like lightning. In the third period. Good grab again. Jabbed away by Yemelin. Devenberg. Jabbed away by Yemelin. Smart recovery by Shea Weber. And possession established on the pickup by Anderson. Just wide of the post. The Canadians up the wing are moving the puck. Oh, wonderful play. Snapping a pass to Anderson. Hammered. Outstanding work with the glove. Snaps a wrister. A cover. And play is stopped. Routine stop for the goaltender. The shooter's going to have to do a much better job challenging him. Montoya's far and away been the best player in this hockey game. He has faced an inordinate amount of shots in this contest, stopped just about everything, and as a result, he's got to be the first star as his team is leading this game. A lightning light club. Lugged ahead from the defensive zone, pitching it to Anderson. Just a good rub out there. And this pre-Christmas contest is over. One team jingled all the way, and the other left with a lump of coal. And with the sound of jingle bells in the background, we bid you adieu for this holiday season. The last hockey game before it has been played, and now the players focus on having a good time with family and friends. We hope you do the very same thing. That's it for us for tonight. For Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, Mike Emmerich saying good evening.